To add, remove, and configure Z-Wave devices, press the 2GIG logo. Enter the installer code 1561. Then press Smart Home Settings. To add a Z-Wave device, press Add Devices. Now that the panel is in Learn Mode, put the Z-Wave device in Add or Inclusion Mode. Please note, the Z-Wave device may come with a panel previously learned in for testing purposes. The Remove Device feature defaults its memory, allowing the user to learn the Z-Wave device into the controller. Z-Wave devices are learned in in various ways. For example, a LAMP module requires a double tap, while a quick set door lock requires a single press of the Learn button. Once the device is learned in, wait until the Add or Inclusion process has been completed. Once the device is added, press OK. To rename the device, press Rename. Once done, press the left arrow to exit. Next, press Remove Devices. Now that the panel is in Remove mode, also called Exclusion, put the Z-Wave device in Remove or Exclusion mode. Z-Wave devices are removed in various ways. For example, a LAMP module requires a double tap, while a quick set door lock requires a single press of the Learn Remove button. The panel will display the Z-Wave device has been removed. Press the left arrow to exit. Pressing Check Network will verify Z-Wave devices are communicating with the panel. Pressing Rediscover Network will configure the optimal communication path from the panel to the various Z-Wave devices. This step should be done after all Z-Wave devices have been added to the system and installed in their permanent location. As it is processing, the panel will display the progress of the Z-Wave network configuration. To view all Z-Wave devices and make any necessary changes, press View All Devices. Use the drop-down menu to access available options for each Z-Wave device. If the device has failed, the option to remove and replace becomes available. Device Association allows for one Z-Wave device to control or be associated with a different Z-Wave device. This is used when lighting is involved. The Advanced Settings menu includes Reset Controller and Learn Controller. Reset Controller will remove all Z-Wave devices, scenes, and programming from the panel. Controller Learn will place the panel in Learn Mode, allowing a secondary controller to be learned in. For technical support and additional training, please use the information you see on screen.